I'm Scott Westcott, 36 years old, and I'm still a marathon runner. I was a school teacher for 11 years, and I taught in junior high schools, teaching science, agriculture, PE, and anything else they wanted to throw my way. I really enjoyed the teaching the kids aspect, and I was probably struggling a little bit with uh, a lot of the other stuff that goes with teaching, that teachers often whinge about. And uh, this opportunity came up to get involved in a sport that I love. Uh, I've been involved with it since, you know, I was a little tacker myself and really wanted to contribute into the sport uh, going into you know, my more senior years as an athlete and, and hopefully you know, as a coach. And uh, this has been the perfect sort of blend of working with kids, working with clubs, working with um, yeah, officials and people who run the sport, sport and, and the peak bodies as well and having a positive influence. Well, I'm a runner first, I think. Um, I've just fallen into the sport of track and field because... Yeah, running's just one of the, the many things that we do in the sport of track and field, but my true love is in endurance running, and um, I could easily just run forever and, and not see a track. So I, I grew up on a farm. My history was just all cross-country, um, a little bit of you know fun running and, and road runs, the edgel jog and, and things like that, the Dubbo Zoo run. And uh, later on, I got sort of stuck into the track because that's what most distance runners did in the summertime. They got on the track and tried to run fast. This is really a last opportunity, but I see it as a real blessing um, because four years ago, I was bitterly disappointed. I'd qualified, done two IWF qualifiers. I wasn't selected in the Athletics Australia team that went to Beijing, and I thought I had every right to be there. Um, this time round, I wouldn't have thought I'd have another opportunity, being fit and ready to run a qualifier. So I'm not putting that much pressure on myself, um, and I'm hoping that because I am more relaxed, um, I've got a pretty good work-life balance and family balance now that um, just being happy, I'll get the best result out of myself. I, I think if it would just be like a pressure valve would just be released, and I couldn't even tell you what that would feel like. So maybe on the other side of uh, 212, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know. But um, I don't want to go dreaming too much because there, there is a job to do. It's 42 k's to run, and I'm just going to focus on um, one step after the other and one kilometre after the other.